Hey, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm Linda from Linda's Crochet and Mower. How's everybody doing? I'm doing great. Saturday, I went to the Angel Oak Tree in Charleston, South Carolina, Johns Island. And I got some postcards because my pictures doesn't do this tree justice. I couldn't get a wide enough thing on it for it to to do anything. I'm going to do one for you, one for me. And glasses up. <laughs> yeah, let me. I'm going to do one for you, one for me. If I could keep it in my hand. There we go. The height is 85 feet. Circumference is 25.5 feet. Area of shade is 17,000 square feet. The largest limb circumference is 11.25 feet. Length, 89 feet. The angel oak is a live oak in a native tree species found throughout the low country. It is estimated to be 300 to 400 years old. Its massive draping limbs and wide spreading canopy presents the aura of an angel. However, the naming was acquired from the tree's previous owners, jo J Justice and Martha Angel. Three to four hundred years old. And then this is the other one that I got. It says the same, it says the same thing on it. If I quit dropping them. It says the same thing on it. I got two of the same. Beautiful! Oh my God, it was so pretty. I will put up the video I uh, videotape there, but it, it still doesn't do, you still can't get all of it there. And it has a baby. They have a baby of the angel oak growing in a bucket next to it. Beautiful. I like this one better. I like that one better. But these were two for a dollar. These were 20 bucks. But the shirts are 40. So I'll never get a a shirt from there because I'm not paying $40. <laughs> when I could just go see it at any time I want to. It's not but two hours away. So it's not that bad. I did make a capelet. From the bag -a day crochet i think it's like a four year old four years old ago i've made it before and um sold them really quick at the market but this is one i did for me to go with all of my skirts i don't have dress tops so i got this to cover up my t-shirts <laughs> so this is a capelet from the bag of day crochet and it is I don't have my shawl pin on it yet but it is beautiful I like it I like it this took all <clears throat> all of a super saver um, a super saver uh, Red Heart Super Saver. This took all of a jumbo. So if you're going to make it, just get a jumbo and that's all you need. One jumbo, one ball, that's all. <laughs> oh my Lord. And I made some more frog pockets. I made this one. Ain't he cute? I love that. I love them all. Then I made this one. I show you the back just because when I do variegate it, the top front might look different than the back, but that don't. And then I did this one this morning. Froggy orange. I'm going to do them all. I'm using scrap yarn to do these with. My scrap yarn, black, white, and any other color I want to use scrap on it. It doesn't matter what color you make them. Doesn't matter. They're all going to be so cute. 
and I've got this is three I think I made five or six I think I got nine or ten made grandkids are loving them the boys put rocks in theirs and then the girls they just put you know whatever they want in it like maybe some jewelry some shells when they go to the beach or something like that I think that hat's down too low <laughs> and I keep them in a ziplock and everything to do it with. I make extra eyeballs. I got four eyes in there now to do two more pockets. I got four four cheeks. I think I got four cheeks in here. Then again, if I don't, maybe I've got two. I can do two more cheeks sitting right here, I mean, at the park. I'm just going to do my eyes and cheeks and... And, um... Put them in here, and then do the frog pocket. Put them back in here. <laughs> but this is how far along I've gotten on my Pamela's Adorn Crochet, the Everly Shawl. This is how far I've got on it. Ugh, so far. Uh, this is what this is looking like. I love the raspberry ganache. I love it. It is a skinny cake, so it's going to go... It's going to go pretty far. I should have put a... Um, a stitch marker on my thing so I wouldn't lose my place. And I think that's all that I have lurking in this bag. It is. I only have that in my Mexico bag. <laughs> I just put my um, whips in there and take it everywhere I go. I think it's getting tired of me wearing it on my back. <laughs> but I love it. But I love it. And um, I keep my scrap yarn in this bag. Yeah, a free bag from the festival. I just keep all my scrap yarn in here that I'm doing my uh, pockets with. And keep the pockets, keep that crammed down in there too. And then, voila. Tight. It can fall over, roll over. Nothing's coming out of that. Nothing's coming out of it. My next video, oh, this is, <laughs> I forgot to name the video. <laughs> this is Ain't Talk About Nothing Tuesday because yesterday was a holiday and I didn't get to make one. I didn't get to make a video yesterday, so this is Ain't Talk About Nothing Tuesday. I forgot to say that at the beginning. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. I'm cuckoo. But yeah, I did take a trip. A short trip to John's Island but I leave if you go leave early in the morning it they open up at 10 o'clock but you got your two-hour trek there people I mean I got there at 10 o'clock on the nose talk about people I mean I'm lucky I got to park I got my little Carla wheel in anywhere. <laughs> so if somebody backed out, I wheeled right in. It was like two steps from the angel tree. Like I went four steps, went in the gate, there's the angel tree right there, right there at me. So, and then, then on the back, it doesn't look like a gift shop. No sign or nothing, it's just a house. But it's the gift shop. And you walk on the porch and ladies making baskets and earrings for exceptionally amount of money. <laughs> earrings were $40. The baskets, you know, were like over 200 I said, what? I mean, I understand it's a lot of work, but, you know, I don't know. 
And then, um, and then I thought, well, I'm not going to get a, I'm not going to get a, uh, souvenir from here. So I did get the postcards and then I saw these hats for 20 bucks. So I went ahead and got a hat. And uh, they have nothing to eat there. You got to bring your own food, drinks. They have a picnic area. You can't take anything around the angel tree. You can't touch it. You can't um, sit on it, stand on it. It said that you could hug it, gently hug it, gently kiss it, and gently touch it. That's all you can do. Because it is hollow on the inside. I read up on everything they had to read up on it. I read up on it. And it's hollow on the inside. That's why you can't touch, stand, or you break it. So and it's over 500 years old. That will, the life expectancy is 900 years. And they have a little baby growing in a pot that sprouted up out there. They dug it up, put it in a pot. And there's... There's another one coming in behind this one. When this one dies, there's another one coming up in behind it. So it'll always be an angel oak tree in Charleston. It is, it's just like breathtaking when you see it. Natural wonder that just grow there for 400 years. Then you got to thinking, 400 years ago, you wouldn't even thought about it being wooded and a big tree like that coming up. You wouldn't even think about it that way. But that's the way it is. I thought it was 1,500 years old. That's what I was telling me I was going to go see. I got there and I got surprised at it being 400 years old. So, it's got another baby coming in behind it when it dies at 900 years old. And you can't get up close you can walk over the limbs and everything, step over it. But as far as getting real close to the trunk, they have a uh, the baby sitting there in the bucket. And then they have a, a, a wire going around it or a rope, a rope going around it. So you couldn't get near the baby. So I don't even know if I, got, I put up my video um, probably tomorrow about the angel, I put angel oak tree video. And um, in Charleston, South Carolina, in case anybody really wants to go. I mean, it's lovely, 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 lovely. Like, share, subscribe. Catch you on flip side. Bye.